hello friends uh, you are welcome to my youtube channel seek show hope you have watched my last uh, videos and uh, in this video you are going to learn uh, about uh, catchment extraction and uh, watershed extraction right uh, uh, this video is uh, somewhat linked with the last video because last video because uh, I have to use intermediate files for this uh, catchment extraction and watershed extraction so to do that uh, you have to have a flow direction map and for catchment extraction and uh, river network for watershed extraction okay let's move to the uh, catchment extraction right find your tool here uh, special analyst go to hydrology and can see the uh, basin tool here using this basin tool double click and get the tool you can extract the catchment area so input flow direction raster you have to include your flow direction map you have to have this flow direction map to get the uh, what's called catchment catchment extraction so i'll rename this as uh, basin catchment and click ok you will get the catchment area using flow direction right so these are the extracted catchment area mm. so then you have to convert this raster to polygon so go to conversion tools here from raster then you have to double click raster to polygon with the tool convert uh, this into uh, <coughs> uh, polygon I will rename it as uh, basin polygon right we got the polygon now you can uh, see the attribute table here you can go to statistics in the shape area you can find the maximum here maximum area mm, if you want to extract single catchment what you can do is go to this selection select feature tool click it and select the catchment that you want to extract and right click here and export your data uh, so you can navigate the play for the place where you want to save i will keep as it is and click ok you want to add the export for the data on the map as layer yes and so this is the catchment area that you want to be extracted right? if you want to further improve this area you can smooth the polygon to do that you can find the smooth tool the cartography generalization to be sorry in the, under the generalization you can find smooth polygon double click and get the tool input feature export output i will uh, keep the output location here in the same name i will use this uh, laser interpolation and click ok 
you can you will be able to see the difference right uh, this is the this is after smoothing the polygon you can check the how much is smooth no? right this is how this is how to extract a catchment catchment area now you are going to learn how to extract a uh, small water shape to do that uh, first you have to use a uh, stream link tool stream link tool is available under the hydrology here you can see stream link double click can get the tool input stream raster you have to uh, input uh, river network this one and input the flow direction I will uh, rename this set as stream link and click ok right this is your stream link and then next step is to use a uh, snap to four point tool this one double click can get the tool input cast o feature four point data for this at the develop stream link here and input accumulation raster you have to use the flow accumulation and keep the point field as value i will rename it as snap to four point and click ok you will not be able to see much difference between stream link and the uh, developed snap to four point files let's see right okay this is a snap to four point and then you have to use watershed tool finally watershed tool is also available under the hydrology open the tool input uh, flow direction raster and uh, the develop four point should be added here and uh, I will rename it as port sheet and click OK you will get the extracted small water sheet right this is the extracted water sheet remember all these things that we uh, completed here using the uh, digital elevation mode field digital elevation mode right. if you want to further improve or oh, you can use this uh, raster to polygon tool go to conversion tool and uh, from raster raster to polygon you can add the developed watershed and I will keep the rest as it is and click OK right this is the uh, final output the extracted watershed you can see the attribute table after converting the uh, raster to polygon you can do lot of calculations using this attribute table the shape area shape length and including all grid codes so hope you have learned something new clearly and uh, okay uh, that's all for this lesson hope you have learned something new now you know how to extract catchment using a digital elevation model and how to extract small watershed and uh, that's all I will be back with the new lesson zoom till then take care and goodbye please do remember to subscribe my channel thank you